and welcome to Yoga Challenge Time. And this time with Yael and a bottle on a friend. How low or high should you go? For today, just a quick little video. It is my friend, the Divine Miss M. And that's me. So starting off, we're getting all the ISO things together so we're washing hands got our masks on this was filmed at stage three but there is one fundamental mistake that we made so you can guess what it is and i'll tell you the answer at the end of the video so there's a couple of differences between the divine miss m and myself one is that she's a great deal shorter and slimmer than me the other one, well, I'll leave it up to you to find out. Let's start out with warming up the spine. A couple of breaths in and out. You can see we're both doing different things, but we're feeling the same, I can assure you. So we're making a little bit of a dip in the spine, the back extension, and then breathing out, squeezing the tummy, curling the back a little bit. A really nice limbering action for the spine. Let's come into warrior pose. This is just a, knee, a kneeling pose. Again, two ways to do this. You can come down on a mat. You can use your chair. Notice I'm holding on to the back of the chair so I can just gently lean forward a little bit. My toes tucked right underneath the heels of the hips. And here I'm coming down and using my trusty foam roller. So this gives my hips a little bit of height, takes that extreme range out of my knees. And you can see M's knees are together and mine are apart. You can see that by watching our hands. Job well done. So having a look, challenging our hips, our knees and our ankles. We're coming into Warrior Two Pose. Let's have a look and see the difference. Notice the height. My height, I'm a lot higher than M, but she's a lot lower in that knee angle than I am. And there she goes into her feeling of Warrior Two. So at the moment I'm showing you, I'm trying to keep up. Let's have a look and see what I've done. I'm as low as she is. Our arms are at now the same height. The head is at the same height. What did I do to achieve this? Now, sometimes you'll find in a yoga class, the teacher will come around and do adjustments. Here we are, Anne's not touching my body. She's just walking around and she's helping me to find where I need to be in Warrior Two, in that deep lunge, for my body. Notice I'm now stacking my shoulders over hips. I'm come up a little bit. And now I'm trying to relax the shoulders. A gentle softening of the elbows is going to achieve this. I can come down into that pose, but I've compromised it. And Em's going to show the adjustment. My knee has come forward over the arch and what I need to do is line up that knee so it's more over the toes than the arch of the foot. Warrior two, a nice deep lunge, well done. So let's explore Warrior two on the other side. So I've changed knees, so has M. And this time we're coming down to our own personal best. We look at different heights, but we do feel the same. Challenging our hips and the knees and the ankles. Now M's going to show you what happens if sometimes you might pull up with a bit of a sore shoulder. So here is our reversed warrior. And you might know this as sun warrior if you do body balance. I'm showing you a high version. 
and M's, pretending that she's just coming out at, uh, as high as she can. Let's try it on the other side. Coming into that deep lunge and then lifting up the arm as much as you can, as much as it feels safe to do so. And it doesn't matter if you don't reach up as high as the instructor or those around you. And it doesn't matter if you go as low as you can and it may not look the same as everybody else. So let's now come and really challenge reverse warrior, sun warrior. So going down nice and deep, I'm showing you a more mobile shoulder and M is using more of her spine and look at the placement of her hands. I've got my pinky towards you, M's got the palm of her hand towards you and yet we're able to reach our height. You might have noticed that I had a gentle twist in the torso and that was helping me not to do a deep back bend. Let's have a look at another approach coming into half lotus. So M is quite flexible in the hips and I'm not so flexible. Coming down and looking at that chair. So looking at my knee, it's poking up but I've still got my top heel pressed out, lining up the bones. And I'm not too worried about where that knee sits. It's more about a nice tall spine, finding comfort in the body and challenging what presents itself to you today. Side number two, let's have a look and see where we go with this. Sometimes it's really helpful to close the eyes or soften them down or maybe just look at a spot so that you're not focusing and challenging yourself beyond your capability. Now this may be a restriction because you're just naturally not that bendy or maybe it's because you're carrying an injury. Namaste. If you listen to your body whisper You'll never have to listen to it scream. So listen to your body. And what was our big mistake in this video? This was stage three, masks, cleaning hands. It was the distance.